When Justina Ireland studied in Pennsylvania, she learned about the Carlisle Indian Industrial School, which was established in 1879. This school would break up Native American families in order to educate and civilize Native American children. This unfortunate piece of American history went on to inspire Justina Ireland to write Dread Nation, uh, which was a novel nominated for the 20 to 21 Gateway Award. In this alternate history of the U.S., zombies, or shamblers as they're called, uh, rise up and almost take over the country. Both Native Americans and African Americans are taken into boarding schools and trained to be attendants or shambler slayers. Our hero is Jane McKean, who cannot wait to graduate from Miss Preston School so that she can go home to her mother, a white owner of a plantation. She and her friend Catherine, however, learn a little bit too much and are then pushed into an adventure that they'll be lucky to survive. Now, the book took a little bit to get rolling, but once it did, it was intrigue all the way to the end. And what a voice. Jane is such a real and sympathetic character that I found myself agreeing with whatever she said. She narrates the world so convincingly that I would be like, yes, that's a good idea, or no, 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 that would never work. The politics line up with the politics of our own post-Civil War era, much to the misfortune of Jane and Catherine. There are some really bad men in this book, and Ireland does a good job navigating our characters through the plot in a way that makes everything stacked against them. The rising tension is the secret to this book's success. One other thing I'll say about this book is that each chapter begins with an excerpt from a letter. At first I found this confusing. I was getting snippets of a one-sided conversation, but it begins to pay off about halfway through the novel, and then I just wanted to get to chapter after chapter so that I could see that through. It was really good. I give Dread Nation by Justina Ireland a library review of Renew It. If you haven't finished this book by the time the due date comes around, you definitely should not return it without finishing it. Uh, you can find this book here at our uh, Gateway Awards reader shelf, and uh, you can even find its sequel, Deathless Divide, in the historical fiction section, which is a little bit behind me. I'd also like to mention Secret Rooms by Alex Shaw, which is a book in a very similar uh, alternate history. And that can be found at the St. Genevieve County Library. Thank you for checking out this review of Dread Nation. Next time we'll be continuing our look at Gateway nominees with Someone I Used to Know by Patty Blount. Uh, it's not for the faint of heart. I'm just going <laughs> to tell you right now. But it is one worth reading. So I hope that you'll join me here next time. Until then, my name is Name. Peace to you and Imagine On.